All right, so what we are seeing next is mind blowing. Because we saw with there was a whole panel about armor and how different kinds of armor are going to be affecting your stats and how you're going to be more stealthy or you're going to be able to fly ships or not fly ships or go in EVA, not go in EVA, do these kind of things. But this, guys, is really something that blew my mind because we are going to have our own little dynamic events in a game, right? By the results of our actions. What we are seeing here is something that is going to be happening on planet Monox, which is Pyro 2. And there's a reason why they are driving that little ground vehicle here. It's because on planet Monox, which is the second planet of the Pyro system, if you drive this ground, a little ground vehicle, you are going to be attracting an apex predator. Apex Predators coming to Star Citizen. The first one apparently is going to be uh, the Vatacar. Now, if you don't know what the Vatacar is, maybe you remember that demo from SeasonCon 2016 where we saw a giant Space Worm. Well, now the Space Worm is going to become a thing, just like we can see here. <laughs> oh, my God. And I swear, when I saw that, I was, again, mind blown. Second second thing that was like mind blowing, I was like, what? They are going to make this a thing, right? It's gonna be a great thing hunting. Exactly, Parker. <laughs> it's gonna be great hunting. I cannot wait to start hunting parties in a power system. Uh, and of course, there's gonna be looting, or we're gonna talk about it a little bit later, but just for fun, just for the laws of being around, fighting you know, that big monster all together with the boys of the Rat Club, boys and girls, of course, not just boys, right? But uh, still with the, with the people of the Rat Club, it's gonna be a ton of fun. And a challenge too, right? Because these things, they're not gonna go down very easily. They're gonna do their best to take us down. Plus, there's gonna need to have people on foot. There's gonna be, need to have people in ground vehicles as well. And we're gonna have to be quite mobile because that thing moves fast. That thing moves fast. That thing, you know, can shoot projectile. That thing will try to slam, <laughs> slam you on the ground, right? So it's not going to be easy. It's going to be fighting back, and we're gonna have to give it everything we've got. I'm not sure I will want to be the guy. <laughs> On foot, though, <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to make sure to have some uh, some uh, some medical ships here. Uh, Ursa rover, right? The the medivac. Gonna, I'm not even sure the medivac is gonna be a thing. Maybe a, a carac, right? Maybe a, a carac will be a, a, a good idea. I mean, look at look at how tall this is. That warm, they were saying, right? And you know, we saw the comparison uh, between that worm and, and the other ships. It's even bigger than the bloody Idris. That's how big that thing is. <laughs> and it's, of course, resistant to blaster. It's got super thick armor here. And I thought, you know, when I, when I saw this, first time I saw that, I was like, Oh, come on. This has got to be a stage demo like the one we saw on Lear 3, you know, all the way back in 2016. This has got to be fake, right? And then I saw actual gameplay. And I saw the HUD and I saw, oh my gosh, they have this in-game, right? It seems you can see its path on the surface. <clears throat> uh, maybe. I haven't... I haven't seen all of these uh, details yet. Ah, this is what you are talking about. I, I don't. I'm, I'm not sure about the about this, Parker. Maybe this could be already uh, some pad that was already there, right? I love how the you know some 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 dudes trying to shoot it with a sniper, and then you got an F8 that's also trying to kill it, it's doing absolutely nothing. That's that that's awesome. And it's just look at that. It was just like shooting. Rocks and then you got the rocks, you know falling down on the surface. That is so cool There's the railgun here big miss here on the railgun because that thing is moving right so you you're shooting on the railgun But maybe you would have escaped that that shot on the railgun. Oh wow There you go. You got shot by it by the rocks there and then boom That is so massive. Let's have a look at those projectiles again. that are being shot by it by the war Look at that ah <laughs> Now look, look, look at these are how, these are how much rock, this, these are how many rocks here that thing is is shooting, or at least try. Look at that! Oh my gosh, this is incredible. 
it does seem a bit uh, nimble for its size. Hey, it's got a lot of muscle and a lot of meat, right? You know, why not? Maybe it is nimble, right? After all, it, it's a worm or some kind of, of giant snake, and then boom, you're gonna be you're gonna be dying a lot trying to take this down. And then it's going to go back into the soil. Now I'm not sure if we can uh, if we're gonna be able to follow it. Uh, in the soil or not. It's really interesting here how they make this possible that it just disappears and you're gonna have to use the ground vehicle to attract it again and then it comes back. Now apparently, now we were told, how are we going to see if it's going to die or not, right? Well, we were told that we're gonna have to judge it based on the looks of its skin. So if its skin is quite damaged then uh, it's going to be dying soon. If it still looks quite pristine, it means we still have a lot of work to do, right? <laughs> By the way, I don't know if you noticed here, but the guy in the turret, he's in the medical gown. <laughs> the guy is like, screw this, I'm, I know I'm gonna die, this thing is gonna kill me, I don't even bother bringing armor, I'm, I'm out there in a medical gown. <laughs> Even the devs, you know, even the developers, when they were filming this, they were like, ah, it's okay, let's just, let's just go in the medical gal. This is so funny, right? <laughs> and boom! <laughs> That's how quickly that cyclone went. So you're gonna have to, uh, you see, in that, uh, in that Valkyrie here, or in any other ship, you're gonna have to get a lot of extra cyclones and a lot of extra ground vehicles. Because if you don't, you know, right? If you don't have ground vehicles, it might go back in the ground and it just might not want to be bothered, right? So that's why you want to have ground vehicles to make it uh, appear. Oh, it just one shot that, that, that F8. This is so, so... Oh, it's gonna die! Oh, I was thinking it's gonna, it's in pretty bad shape. Yeah, you can see now, you can see it's got uh, a lot of wounds now on the skin. You can also see by the movement, it's like, ah, uh, suffering. So it's not exactly the same movement as uh, it was doing at the beginning. It's also closer to the ground, so it looks like it's having more difficulties to erect itself. And then it's going to be dying very soon. I think that this was the, uh, ooh. <laughs> Just in front of you, look at that. <laughs> Oh, it's going back into the ground. Now where is it? And then it's going to happen one more time. It's going to appear one more time. I'm just speechless, you know, when I see that, right? Now that is a boss fight indeed, Parker. It's something that we are missing. I mean, we do have boss fights right in the game with the Idrises. Wow, did you see that F8? F8 got shot, it's just spinning out of control. <laughs> and that guy is still going after him with a sniper, right? Bah! Yeah, we are definitely going to be dying a lot trying to kill that thing. And especially, you know, when we're going to have death of the spaceman, and when death is going to have consequences in the game, fighting something like this is definitely going to be something that you might be considering. It's not going to be at the beginning when Death of the Spaceman will still not be a thing. You're like, all right, guys, let's go kill that thing and we're going to die and it's okay. Uh, in the future, it's not going to be a thing. It's like, oh, uh, do we have the proper backup? Do we have enough firepower? Uh, do we have... Uh, enough people with us to make sure that we are not going to be dying. Do we have the right ship that can escape or evade the attack maneuvers of that thing? Because we're going to have to be really considering what we're going to be bringing. Uh, is it going to be worth also the investment, right? Are we going to be making enough money of the things that we're going to be looting of that monster? All right, start... Uh, Start small or medium? Yeah, well, um, I'm not so sure uh, if we're gonna be uh, doing, if we're gonna have a, a medium force with it. I think we need to have a large force killing that thing. Otherwise, it's just, uh, it's just not gonna be enough. And you know, I think that the best thing to do would perhaps be to swarm it or overwhelm it, so that it just doesn't know where to attack. And there we go, success. <laughs> we have the quasi gross they have the quasi grazer around there like oh what's going on this is so funny 
and it's just like a. I like how it's just uh, rolled like a, like a dong, you know, like like a piece of shit. <laughs> so how do you go inside after? Because the mouth is really high up here. Maybe you just land on top of it, find an opening, and then you mine all the stuff that's inside. I love this. All those extra materials, the pearls also. They have, they're going to have different kinds of qualities as well. So I suppose that the big round one is going to be a quality 3 or tier 3 quality. Wow, that's going to be... A, that's a lot of them. And then they have the, the, the teeth here. They have the... Uh, there you go. Apex Valet Car Thong here. They don't say the quality yet. So we're not going to have crafting or item quality in Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 or 4.1. That's something that's going to be uh, coming later on, I suppose, right? Oh, look at how big that is. This is like two times bigger than the player character, at least. <laughs> like the whole cutlass is going to be filled with... Oh, this one doesn't have that uh, that much of a good quality. And they've done it. All right, we get uh, to share the loot, right? And this is really something that I'm looking forward to. So when could we get the Valakar, right? Well, guys, I believe, and this is my, my personal thoughts here. I believe that the Valakar is actually closer than we might be thinking. Because, reason number one, it was data mined by the guys at you know star season leagues and pipeline right so it's it's not something that i talked on the channel because i try to avoid spoilers or or leaks that would spoil things but i kind of already knew that it was it was coming right if you if you are aware of leaks and spoilers you kind of already knew yo deplorable if you're how are you doing you kind of already knew that the valakar was coming uh, because it's, in fact, right now, in Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.2, which is using the 4.0 code, or part of it, the Valakar is already in the files. So, and we already passed gray box, right? So that's why I think that next week's roadmap update is going to be very interesting. Is it going to be in 4.0? I think that would be quite a stretch. I think it would be very surprising. I think that we've already got a lot to test. We got we already have a lot to soak in. We're four upon O. All the new gameplay mechanics, all the uh, you know the uh, the jump points, the 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 the. the, the the new factions, the mission refactor. There's a lot to do already in four upon O. But I wouldn't be surprised. If this comes for 4.1, that that in my opinion that could very well be a possibility.